Hi everyone, it's Travis here with ProNav Marine, and today we're going to give you a quick overview on setting up the ProNav Motion Controller remote with your ProNav GPS angler system. To get started, we're going to take our new remote out of the box. First thing I'm going to have to do with this remote in order to begin using it is to set up the network configuration, which essentially is pairing this remote with your ProNav Angler GPS unit. So to do this step, you're going to be next to your boat, you're going to have your ProNav Angler GPS plugged in and on your boat and trolling motor as you normally would. And I'm also going to need my mobile device with the ProNav Angler mobile app loaded. The first step for the network configuration is to open the ProNav Angler application. So I'm going to open the ProNav app. I'm going to accept the user agreement. And now when I'm sitting next to my boat here, I've got my GPS unit uh, on the trolling motor and I have it plugged in so there's power. Next step, I'm going to come into the app. I'm going to hit the connect icon in the bottom left of the screen. And now you're going to see the app says we're scanning for devices, connect to a device. If I have a ProNav GPS with a B in the serial number or, or a newer model than this, um, such as C, um, then I'm going to connect to ProNav Central. Now, if I have a prior model to the B series serial number, um, such as A or no letter in the serial number, I'm going to be using the ProNav Connection Hub or ProNav Hub uh, to complete this next step. From my mobile app, I'm going to connect to ProNav Central. That's the B series and newer serial numbers. And now you'll see the app says we are connecting to the ProNav Central. So once I've done that, this is how you normally connect the app to your trolling motor. I can turn the motor left and right, I can adjust the speed, I can use all the autopilot modes. Um, to set up the ProNav Motion controller, the remote, we're basically going to come into the top menu here in the app and we're going to look for network settings. And once we come into the network settings screen, uh, we're going to see that it says connected to ProNav Central and we'll see below that ProNav Remote Setup. No ProNav Remote has been configured on our connection hub. I'm going to select the orange button that says Add Your ProNav Remote and we'll see a, a screen here that says Connect to Device and Scanning for Devices. I've got this remote fully charged out of the box and I've never used it before. Um, you'll see if I hit any of the left, right, uh, anchor buttons, uh, nothing happens. There's no lights up top here. Uh, to turn this remote on, to wake it up and take it out of its sleep mode, I'm going to hit either the Bluetooth button or the FN button on the bottom of the remote. So I'm just going to hit that. You'll see when I hit that, I get a red light blink up top. And after that, any button press on the remote is going to give me a red light blink. Um, so that indicates to me that this remote is on. Um, it's been woken up, but it's not connected to anything. So this remote now needs to connect the, over Bluetooth um, to the GPS unit. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to hold down the Bluetooth icon for about five seconds. And I just saw that blue light flashed. And you're going to see that blue light is flashing at a, a steady interval here. Okay. So now once that blue light's flashing, I'm going to come back into the ProNav app and uh, in the connect to the device menu, I'm going to click, uh, we have a message here that says scanning finish, click to rescan. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click rescan and now what I'll see is a option for the ProNav remote. So I'm going to select ProNav remote and it asks you to set a name. So I'm going to set that name to ProNav Remote. Uh, you can name it something creative if you'd like. And once I do that, um, here you can see that underneath the remote ProNav, ProNav Remote Setup, I have ProNav Remote and I've got a string of letters and numbers. Um, this is the unique address for this remote. And what I've just done is I've paired this remote to the connection hub or the ProNav Central unit right here. This is your GPS unit. Um, that's plugged in on your trolling motor. <clears throat> and now that I've done this step and completed this, this remote is now paired permanently to that GPS unit. Um, and how do I know that it's paired up? I've got a solid blue light now up in the top corner. 
that solid blue light basically indicates to me that this remote is um, paired to this GPS and if I hit any of the buttons on here my trolling motor is going to respond accordingly. I can use this remote to control that trolling motor um, independently of the mobile application. So this, this remote is paired to the GPS and if I'm using my app, my app is also pairing to the GPS. Um, so what this network configuration allows us to do is basically it allows us to set up our remote and the GPS and the mobile app so that they can all talk together or independently of one another. So that's it for completing the network configuration. We're going to have another video here explaining how the remote works, how to turn it on, how to turn it off, um, what that pairing process looks like ordinarily after you've completed the network configurations um, and a few more uh, informational pieces here on this remote. So stay tuned and thanks for checking out our video.